So uh, I'll start at the last one. The TSO is is a uh, usually a standard that's that's created for a commonly used piece of equipment. So um, <clears throat> TSOs are for things like uh, uh, the seats, the uh, some common equipment on the airplane, like all of the avionics. Most of them are covered by a TSO, a GPS, for example, a flight management system, a display system. They're all covered by various TSOs. Those are the technical standards. And it specifies the performance. It usually points to an industry standard for the performance, the functional requirements, but it specifies the performance of the Fox. And when you get a TSO, that means you've developed it using DO-178, DO-254, uh, all the system processes that you, you've done. Uh, and at the end, you've certified with with your uh, company uh, uh, delegates, if that's what you have. Uh, so you can get a letter of TSO authorization and the letter of TSO authorization basically says you meet the TSO standard. Uh, it doesn't allow you to install it on the airplane though. To install it on the airplane, uh, you need to get something uh, at the aircraft uh, level. You need to integrate it and you need to demonstrate that it works in the airplane. So when is it going to get in the airplane? <clears throat> so if it's a modification program, you will do an STC. So I might come, a customer might come and say, well, I'd like to change the FMS. And when he's changing the FMS, the aircraft original type certificate will become amended by an STC that incorporates your new TSO FMS. So the STC process is the process of changing or adapting the type certificate of the airplane to add new functionality and update equipment. And then, so that's the answer for STC. Uh, and for type certificate, well, that's really the original type certificate for a piece of equipment or the aircraft when it was originally certified. Uh, and only the OEM that, that makes that, that uh, system can actually amend the type certificate directly. If somebody else needs to amend it or wants to make modifications, they have to do a supplemental type certificate. That's why we have two different ones.